I get questions all the time about how we shoot short form dance content. And so this is a video telling you our process and how we do short form content. So here we go, let's talk through, first things first, we are dressed for this Beyonce country dance. So if this is really old when you see this and it never trended, that's the problem. But as long as it's trending right now, we yeah, just might not trend. We'll we see. may not trend and this may not do well. But I'm gonna talk through what we have to work with right now. We have a camera. This is actually a Sony a7S III. Um, it does not matter what camera you use, I don't think, personally. Use what you got because honestly, that's the most important part. You can even use your phone if you uh, want to use this method. It's just gonna be shoot on your camera reel, like on like your normal camera app, and then we can show you how to add music to that later in post-production. I like Sony. I've liked Sony for a long time. I changed from Canon to Sony years ago, but I'm not opposed to Canon. I still love Canon. They just weren't doing mirrorless cameras back when I needed a mirrorless camera. So I had to go with Sony and get all new glass. Glass, talk about glass. This is gonna be the most important purchase you make when buying a DSLR camera. Um, this is what makes your shots look really pretty, I think. Yes, color is important, but your glass and uh, the aperture in this lens and the, the quality of the lens is going to affect it. If you have a cage on your camera, Generally, they're not that expensive, but this is just basically a metal cage that goes around the camera and it gives me a place to mount it on its side without having to tip the tripod on its side. So most tripods have the capability to actually shoot vertical, so you wouldn't even have to worry about the cage if you don't want to. You just mount your camera like this normally, shift it to the side and shoot this way. Now, some cameras, like my cameras, if I get them too heavy, they start tipping tripods over, especially if you're using like a monopod or something along those lines. Um, shooting like a really lightweight tripod when you're on the road. So what I did to combat that is I put a cage on it, <clears throat> mounted a, a quick release plate on the side, and then I can just do it upright. That way, even if I'm shooting on little teeny tiny tripods that I travel with, it won't tip over and I have a lot more flexibility. Not that you're asking for my gear rep recommendations, but if you want something really lightweight and small, I have this linked in my Amazon storefront below, but it is basically a mini tripod, but it works in a lot of different ways. So there's your little tripod, this tips up, but again, this thing is really hard to use if you're just tipping it over on its side to make it work. It'll tip over a lot, so that's why the cage is so nice. The cage does add some weight, but it makes shooting on something like this small tripod that I can take I can take on the road with me anywhere I go and shoot low to the ground, fine. So let's talk about lighting next. So when I'm in my house, when I'm outside, I don't really use lighting. I'll use like practical lighting effects using the sun, bounce light off of other windows. But when I'm inside, I use lights. So here's, here's what we got right here. We have some small rig RC 2200Bs. These are also linked on my storefront. I've got a MagMod uh, softbox. This MagMod softbox is very nice. These have really nice, they've got some color changing so I can go like warmer or cooler. I bought a two pack, so it's available on the Amazon storefront. There's the second one and it is operating as my backlight. So this light over here is my key. This is gonna be the front light and this is my backlight. I just have them out of the frame just a little bit. They're just kind of right on the edge of the frame because I want them to separate us from the background, but I kind of want it to look like the outside light is coming in and actually separating us from the background. This is gonna be my backlight. It's gonna match the color outside. Sweet, so we have a key light, we have a backlight. If you don't have lights and you're shooting this, no problem. Shoot with the windows in front of you. What I do is I do shoot manually on these cameras, meaning that I set all of the settings manually. You don't have to do that. Um, honestly, the cameras are so smart. Most of the time auto works great, especially on like your iPhone. Um, but I do have a video about manual settings. If you're interested, I'll link it like wherever it'll pop up, like either up here or in the description below. So you can check that out as well. That's an old video, but still a goodie. Let's get into filming this thing. Luke, are you ready to, to do this dance? Yeah. We learned this dance on a live stream, which was kind of embarrassing, but also went well. What people were saying we learned it so fast. I was like, um, I'm so sorry. I feel like it took me forever. The whole thing, y'all. Here it is. Dig da da da. Woo! Bo, ba, 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 ba. This shirt is so I would have never thought that I liked the way I look in like Western wear, but it kind of vibe. No! No one just heard that. Do not quote me on that. What did you say? I said Western wear was kind of vibe, but I didn't mean it. This light is just in the shot. Dang it. Um, okay, so we got, we've got the tape there. You didn't see it. I'm not even rolling on you. Am I? I am. Okay, so we got the take. This camera battery died, so you didn't actually get to see the take. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this camera over to the computer and make an edit. And excuse the mess and all the 
notes and things that I need to do. All right, if you're interested in how I edit, how I make the camera move like it has a cameraman without actually having anyone moving the camera, or how I do infinity loops, go check us out on Patreon. I also will cover how I post to TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube without losing any of the work we do in post-production. It's for all paid members, so pick whichever one works with your budget. Head over there, I do it in great detail. So I'm really excited about it. You should go support us on Patreon. I'm losing it. Uh, stay positive and keep the vibes. I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> A special thank you to Matthew, Mark, and Morgan for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon.